Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure to check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Networks. I have a story and it's coming from our fifth favorite state, nutty ass New York, okay? So I don't know what the hell is going on with this father, but this entire situation is really sad. We have a father, he immigrated from Jamaica. He's living in the Bronx with his family in a small apartment. So in that apartment is his mother, it's also his grandmother. He has a teenage son, a teenage daughter, and she just gave birth to a two-month-old baby, okay? So he's also a grandfather as well. They're saying that he was down on his luck. He wasn't able to find any work. So instead of him, you know, to pray about it, to keep looking for work, he decides that he's going to kill his whole family and burn down the building with other innocent families who live in that building as well. This entire situation is disturbing as hell. Go ahead and check this out. A father in the Bronx charged with trying to kill his family by setting his apartment on fire. He allegedly tried to block the door with a couch, but both neighbors and firefighters stepped in to stop him. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis has more on what happened from the Wakefield section. Marcus? And Diana, it is still unclear what caused this man to snap. He attacked his children, his grandchild, his mother, and his grandmother pouring hot oil on all of them. I seen when they had him handcuffed. He, he, looked it like, uh, he looked it like he was in another world. It seems like something otherworldly. A man on a rampage against his entire family. Around 10.30 this morning, firefighters were called to this building on East 236th Street. By then, the suspect's 18 and 19-year-old children had fled a fifth floor apartment with the woman's two-month-old baby. They knocked on my door and I bring them inside. And then he said, my dad burned me up. I said, what happened? He said, my dad burned me up. Police say with hot oil that he also threw on his 60-year-old mother and 87-year-old grandmother. The oil set the apartment on fire. The suspect then barricaded the door with a couch, trapping the women inside. He slipped out through a small crack in the door. But when firefighters responded, they saw neighbors, in effect, making a citizen's arrest. He observed the occupants of the uh, floor holding an individual on the ground who was screaming and hollering, threshing about, just screaming and hollering that he wanted to kill his family, he was going to burn them up. Firefighters went up the fire escape and into the apartment, rescuing the women and putting out the flames. All five victims were taken to the hospital with burns that are not considered life-threatening, but serious nonetheless. The baby got burned over her high here and um, her hand right here because she said she lie on the bed with the baby upstairs and then he poured the oil on the the um the son and the daughter and the baby she could look at his face and see he was kind of stressing for the last couple of days you know and uh that's what i seen Well, the victims all recovering in the hospital. As for the suspect, has not been identified yet, and charges against him are pending. All right, so you guys just watched that news clip. So this entire situation, like I said, is just really disturbing. Not only did he pour hot boiling oil on his daughter, he did it while she was holding her two-month-old baby. That baby's also suffering burns. The baby could have been killed just from him splashing that oil on that baby. Could have sent the baby into shock. I mean, this entire situation is just really disturbing. It makes no sense what the hell is going on in this world. I understand the stressors. I understand being stressed out, not being able to work, not knowing you know how you can take care of your family. But the daughter is 19 years old, so you know at some point in time she can work. The mother's there, the grandmother's there, so they can watch the baby. So everything didn't have to be on him. I just think he was looking for an easy way out. And this is just insane. I'm so glad that those kids were able to get out that apartment and run to neighbors. And neighbors were able to help the fire department save the other two women who were stuck in there because he was barricading the door with the couch. So thank goodness that everybody survived. But this man definitely has some serious issues. It's really sad that a lot of things that are going on in this world is affecting people. There's a lot of mental illness in this world. There's a lot of people walking around with just deep-seated issues. And they're not getting the help that they need because it's not normal for a father to wake up 
and start pouring hot oil on his whole family and then deciding to kill his family and burn down his apartment building. That's not normal. I'm sure this man has had a lot of issues in the past, but either they were ignoring it or they didn't know how to address it. So this entire situation is very unfortunate, but I'm really glad that they were able to foil his plans. You know, unfortunately the children did get burned and so did the grandchildren and the mother. You know, they all suffered burns, but at least they're still alive. And thank goodness he was unable to set the entire building on fire because had he, more people could have died, more more people could have lost their possessions. More people would have been homeless because of the fire. So thank goodness they were able to foil his plans. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing story. Once again, coming from Nutty Ass New York. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.